Hey, were you recording that? Hi. First, let me say thank you to my cameraman behind the scenes, Idris. If you hear him, you already know. That's how we do it. That's how we roll. So I am Chef Alexa, Alexa Joan by Alexa. Artist, chef, um, all those other wonderful things that I won't mention in this short video. But I did make a post um, yesterday to ask you all to send me questions about food, uh, wellness, um, healthy-ish type things or healthy-ish type food or culinary arts or culinary skills. I got a great response. So the goal is daily. I will post a video or um, post a blog or something to answer que various questions that I received. So the first question I got is from Ramir. What can you recommend someone prepare for lunch daily that is easy, doesn't require a lot of work, and importantly, healthy? Well, that's easy. For me, easy is preparation, preparation and planning. Figure out in advance what you wanna cook for the week. Do it on a Thursday so that you're, you can shop on Friday and decide on Saturday or Sunday if you're gonna cook. My suggestion, make a big pot of grains whether it's rice or quinoa or farro or tabbouleh or um, couscous or Israeli couscous. Make a big batch of it. If you make one cup of dried um, grain, it'll give you about three cups of cooked grain. Um, if you make two cups of dried, obviously six cups of cooked. Anything extra that you don't use, store it in the freezer. Then I would select three or four vegetables that I wanna cook. Very simple, roast in the oven. It's the easiest thing that you can do, and it's the most flavorful thing that you can do. Cut up the vegetables very quickly. It doesn't have to be perfect. Season it with olive oil, salt, and pepper. If you want to be adventurous, add some other spices to it. Roast it up in the oven. High heat, high heat, 400 degrees, 375 degrees. That's the type of heat you want to do when you're roasting vegetables. Next, I would buy a rotisserie chicken. How much is it now? $4.99, $5.00. And you can get at least four to six servings of chicken from one whole chicken. If you take it off the bone, shred it, cube it, however you want to do it. So there you have your rice. You have three to four vegetables. You have your chicken. You have meals right there. You have at least two or three different types of meals. So one day, take your rice, lay it in your container, take some chicken, take two or three of those vegetables, add a little bit of dressing, store it in your refrigerator, take it out the next day, take it to work with you and enjoy it room temperature or warmed up. The next day, switch up your vegetables a little bit. Maybe the third day, you don't want chicken. You want something meatless. So you open up a can of beans. Um, garbanzo beans are really good, black beans, white navy beans. You could also, even the next day, if you want a little bit of sweetness or a little bit of freshness, get some frozen corn, thaw it out the day before, or cut up a cucumber, or get some shredded cabbage from Wegmans. Simple things like that, if you prepare different components and then put them all together, you can mix and match all you want to. You never get bored with your meal. You have a lot of variety. So that was the first Ask Alexa question. Thank you so much, Ramir. Um, if you have any other questions, send me a message. You can DM me, um, Instagram me, or send me a message on Facebook. Only food related. Only food related. That's what my boyfriend said. Um, and you can email me, Alexa Joan, A-L-E-X-A-J-O-A-N at gmail.com. The first two mi 10 minutes are free. After that, I got to charge you. All right. Have a great evening.